Sonic the Troopers released in 1987, the year before my birth. Um, which just made me feel a little bit older, I'm not going to lie. And it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, Shane Black, Jesse Ventura, and a whole other host of awesome 80s personas. This film just oozes, uh, you know, man. Uh, the plot is simple as it needs to be, you know, it's a uh, chopper goes down behind enemy lines and the people go missing, and Dutch, uh, who is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and his crew are sent behind the enemy lines to try and retrieve them and take out gorillas. Not the animal, um, the, you know, the covert, well not covert, but the people hiding in the woods and shooting back. Um, and of course there's a predator in the midst that's uh, hunting them. The music is absolutely awesome uh, and badass at times where it's tense and then at times again where it's just the, the usual, you know, the da 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 It's just, it's timeless, it's a really good song when you hear it, you know, ah, uh, jungle. Arnie. It's uh, pretty cool. Now, the predator looks fantastic. The actual uh, Yauja, is that what it was pronounced with their species? Um, fictitious species, mind you. Um, but I watched it in 4K and the the costume looks amazing, even in 4K. There was a lot of things in the film that obviously uh, don't hold up aesthetically because of the, the time it was made, like when Billy stands on the log and cuts himself with, the, with his knife. It's clear he's just drawing a red line on himself. Um, more evident that the more pixels you have on the screen but um i can forgive its shortcomings because of the fact that it's you know you know like you know, 34 years old uh 35 years old even um the action is also really really cool and uh really really intense and the characters are on point and the gore is is gory it's everything you want in an action film with the final confrontation between uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Dutch and the Predator as this a uh, bit of a cat and mouse situation as the Predator hunts mainly via heat vision uh, in the first film of course they swap it up to sound and movement and whatnot in the second film but with this first film it's just generally heat and uh, by using the mud he masks his body heat and, and ha happens to put up a pretty good fight against the Predator um, and you know I mean they should shoot the shit out of a forest instantly quotable with many, many, many uh, one-liners from Arnie and the rest of his goons, such as these amazing uh, ones. Dylan! You son of a bitch. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Yeah. Stick around. And of course, the famous... Get to the chopper! still remember when I was about 10-ish in the late 90s and a friend of mine was talking up to me saying you've got to watch this film it's about an invisible alien that rips the spines out of people and shoots holes through them and I was like yes do you know what yes that's something I need in my life at 10 years old and uh, I ran home asked my mum please can we uh, video record this or can I stay up and watch it and she happened to have a VHS that she recorded off of the uh, the telly at some point during the 90s and she, against her better judgment she let me watch it and ever since that's it, I've, I've, I've been a Predator fan. I've loved the film and it's been a massive part of my life since I was very young, for better or for worse, I don't know really. Uh, I, I don't really know if that's a good thing. Uh, but of course, if you haven't seen Predator, the original one, then please do, it's an amazing 80s action film and one that is definitely worth uh, watching again and again and again. Like I said, it's got fantastic action, fantastic music, great, um, just heroic fighting between Arnie and the, uh, uh, the Predator itself, plus the supporting cast are really, really cool, and uh, everyone gets their little moments in the sun, everyone gets a little time to shine. So, uh, yeah, um, Predator gets uh, my highest rating of an S ranking. I know that's obviously a bias because it's a large part of my life, but you know, this is my review and I'm giving it an S ranking. You know, it's got a little shortcomings, like I said, and the fact that it's come out so long ago, it's it's got a few things here and there which uh, don't stand the test of time in terms of prosthetics or effects but apart from that it's a great film and it's not too long so it doesn't overstay its welcome but thank you very much for watching this review and i'll catch you on the next one son of a bitch is dug in like an alabama tick you're hit you're bleeding man i ain't got time to bleed.